Hi, this is a, a short little tutorial on completing an assignment in OneNote and submitting it through Teams. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to log into our 365 account. I use incognito mode, so I'm going to press Control, Shift, and N. And this basically allows me to log in without the browser saving any of my credentials. We'll log into our 365 office.com. Click on sign in. Okay, ST. Okay, now this tutorial is going to be focused entirely through Teams. And again, here it doesn't matter whether I click yes or no, simply because I've used incognito mode. Now, if I wasn't in incognito mode, I would preferably click no because I don't want it to save any of my credentials. So really, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we said everything's going to be through Teams. Okay, so Teams is loaded up. I don't want notifications. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the team which I want. I'm using this one here. It's a parent information one which I had. So we're just going to open this team here. And from the team, I can see the general channel. I can see I've had an assignment assigned to me. Um, first thing I'm going to do is have a look at the assignment section. So we're going to see as a student what assignments have been assigned to me by this particular class. So the class parent information. And I can see I've got some here. Some of them have already expired. Here's the, the assignment that I'm working on now. So um, this is the Minecraft build project research. It's due tomorrow at midnight. So if I click on that, I can see the information about this assignment. And it simply says that um, this is your assignment. Here are some of the things I have to do, some instructions. and Basically, it says that I need to fill in my research through OneNote, and it tells me where that is. It's actually the page Henry VIII Project Research. Now, once I finish this and I've added my work, I'm going to turn this in, but I haven't finished the work yet. So I'm going to go to my class notebook. From my class notebook, I'm going to click on the little arrow that pops up here so I can see all of the sections. OK, so the content library, we said that's where the teacher would add information and resources. We cannot change anything that's in the content library. So any one of these I cannot change. I can read them, but I can't change them. Here's me, student one. So this would be your name. So I'm going to open this and I can see the sections which I have available to me in my personal space as a student. Here's my project, Henry VIII project. And in this section, I've got this one page, which is the Henry VIII Castle Research. And here is my research. So I'm going to click on this page here. And here I basically fill in this information. So um, this particular project is about Henry VIII and castles that he lived in. Um, and then we would choose one of those castles and research that particular castle so that it, we can then build it in Minecraft. One of the castles I'm going to choose is London, oh, Tower of London, so Tower of London. I don't, I haven't done the research. I don't know where the, well, I know the location is in London. And here I will put the date that he lived in there, let's say in the 1500s. I will find another castle. The, the, here I'm just following the instructions, name three castles Henry VIII lived in and dates. Then I will put the castle you have chosen. So I will choose one of the three castles that I've written here, which I'm going to build. Let's see again, it will be Tower of London. And why did you choose this castle? You write your explanation, put some facts. So basically, I'm simply, as a student, following the instructions on this worksheet. And at the bottom, it says you can add some images. I have to add at least four images, which are going to help me to build this castle in Minecraft. So I'm going to show you how to add that image very quickly. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to click on the tab in my browser to add a new page. And I'm going to search, for example, Tower of London. Go to images. 
And you can use these tabs here to research as well. So you don't have to close Teams. So you can go back and you can do research, find some research, get some information. And you can very simply go back and copy paste into your OneNote page. Remember, using your own words, we don't copy paste directly. So for images, let's say I want to use, this is a, a pretty good image here. So I'm going to click on that image. I'm going to right click on the image and choose copy image. Now I can go back and here. Now we're not allowed to right click paste with our mouse, but we can use control V on the keyboard. And if we forget about control V, if I try to right click and paste, it gives me a message saying cut is control X, copy is control C, paste is control V. So I'm going to click on OK and press control V on the keyboard and that will add my picture. And I can do the same again and again and add four pictures. So there you go. There's my picture added in OneNote. And I can resize it as well. If it's too big, I can make it smaller or I can make it bigger. So basically, you will complete your assignment here. And once you finish with this, this is all saved automatically. So you can revisit it again and again until it's finished. Now, once you've finished, you want to tell the teacher that you've completed your work. Now, and not only that you've completed it, you want to tell the teacher where your work is. So here's how we do that. I'm going to click here. Here's the page I've been working on, Henry VIII Castle Research. And that's this page. So I'm going to right click on the page and I'm going to copy the link to this page. And that simply copies the link from this page. Now I'm going to go to my assignments. I'm going to find the assignment for which I want to submit. So out of these three assignments, this is the, this is the assignment that I've been working on just now. Okay, here it is here. Now, if I click on turn in now, I simply tell the teacher I've completed it. But then the teacher has to go to each student's OneNote one by one to find the work. So what you have to do is here where it says add work. I'm going to click on this. And then choose. Am I adding work which I've got saved in OneDrive? No. Am I adding a new file? For example, a Word document, Excel? No. If I want, I can upload from here uh, a picture or a file which is stored on my computer. In fact, what we're doing, we made a link. We copied the link to the page from our OneNote page. So I'm going to click on link. And I'm going to right click and paste or control V. That's the same. There's the link which we copied. You see that? I can add a description. You don't have to, but I'm going to add one. Uh, my Henry Eighth Research on OneNote. And I click on Attach. Can you see here? It's actually attached my work in the assignment section. All I have to do now is click on turn in and that will give me a nice animation saying it's finished. So if I click on that, there we go. I get the jellyfish. There he goes. Okay, so basically that's it. We've updated our assignment. We've turned it in. We've added our link. We're done. We're finished. Now your teacher will get a notification that you've turned in your work. When they click on your name, they will actually see the link, this link here, and they will be able to see your work directly. Let's say you've turned in your work and you forgot to add the link. So what I'm going to do here is, let's say I go back to class notebook. I can still go and get the link again. Let's say I, I turned in my work, but I didn't add the link. I go get the link now, copy link to this page, go to my assignments again, OK, and can you see here, this is completed. My assignment is not here because I've said I've completed it. So I'm going to go to completed. Here's my project, which I completed, my assignment. And then here, undo turn in. I can add the work. So let's say I had some other work that I wanted to turn in. Go to my link, add the link, just like I did before. And that's it. Attach it, and it will attach it. Then I can turn it in again. So you can always undo the turn in. Oh, there you go. I get the unicorn. So you can undo the turn in, add your work, and do it again. So if you've already submitted your work, then all you have to do now, go get the link from your OneNote, 
copy the link to the page, go to your assignments, open the assignment, undo the turn in, add the work and turn it in again. That's it.